in a world hanging by the threads of chaos and despair. The Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, those who bear his divine might. I, yeah. His saviors. We live in the book of the acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. The picture through all of my walls. The picture through all of my walls. And I'm out here playing this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the whole habit. To clean off the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life give us lemons, we turn it to vengeance. We're stronger than the Lord and his might now. All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same. Wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain. The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane yeah. When it gets pretty and looking real iffy, they pull up and smart, they fade, yeah It's a blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand it, I'm a man, yeah Put it easy, there's a change, yeah Put it easy, there's a change, yeah I'm a man, I'm a man, 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 yeah Straight to the religion, it's only if you to stay true and some tripping. Angel, if you got no clue what you slipping, it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I fool with no vision. I'm moving like fast to my mind, steady swimming. Hey, all praise to the most high. All praises to the most high. It's been a long, been a long, long, long time. Yeah, yeah. We back now. We've been putting a lot of work in, yes, so sir. the reason that the show has been, you know, delayed is because we've been putting a lot of work in and everywhere else. And the way that our show is set up is we have to get in here on Sundays and get it done to have a radio staff. I just felt the need to explain that to you. Either way it goes, we've been putting in major works across the globe, That's man. right. Oh, it's crazy. Been, ain't no bombs. God dang. Right. They done oh, forgot how to use that the, activity. They done forgot how to use they the done, system. It got rusted That's over. Right. Man, we done been blitzing all over the earth. That's right. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, sir. A lot of work has been putting in in, in in a lot of different cities. You know, the body is growing. All praise to the most high God. Let's get the Lord a hand for that. That's Let's right. get the Lord a hand for that. They forgot to hit the button back there again. Come on, uh, my button guy. Still got to get these buttons put up there, man. Fingers slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> hey, you're now tuned in to the Final Trumpet Radio Show. I'm Captain Kalia to my right. Officer Yuanathan. To my left. Officer Yuanathan. To my far left. Officer Marshall. And I'll read it today. So, G.I.U. Yeah, yeah. And we are back with a new episode of the Final Trumpet Radio Show, man. That's it's right. a lot it's going good. on out in the world. It's a lot going on. We got a lot to touch on, and we probably we not gonna get through everything that's been building up, but we just gonna we just gonna let it flow. We gonna let it flow. So, uh, this past week, actually yesterday, uh, we went down to Springfield, Illinois, for the support and the display of unity for our sister Sonia Massey, who was shot and killed by uh, Sean Grayson, police officer there, who has a track record of terrorizing black people. Um, and, and su- surprisingly, you know, there was no uproar in Springfield. Mm-hmm. You know, the prophets of the Lord had to come through, put boots on the ground, and show our people why we're in the condition we're in and what we need to do to come out of these conditions. You know, um, That's all, right. all praise to the most high. The people were receptive. We had about eight camps. Mm-hmm. All camps had about 10 to 15 people at them. Like, they were taking the word in. They were mm-hmm. taking the word in. So, uh, we're gonna pull up the first uh, clip of, of the men of God in Springfield, Illinois, real quick. Uh, let's let's get that uh, that footage that I just sent you over there. Yeah. Right. No, this is. Right. This is going right. down. Man, RIP on your mask, man. All right, so I wanted to play this particular clip right here because that's not us recording. You know what I'm saying? That's a brother that is from Springfield, Illinois, who's doing the recording. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of people out there. I don't 
think we have the picture, but Sonia Massey's uh, mother and daughter actually showed up while we was there. Um, got some pictures with them. Was able to talk to them for a little bit. I don't think that footage has been released yet, but that's just some of the works that we've been putting in. Now, let's look at the actual body cam of the footage of what took place with our sister and why uh, we actually ended up going to Springfield, Illinois in, in this uh, for this incident. Go ahead, run that clip, please. Called us. Okay. So what'd you hear? Um, somebody outside my house, y'all. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get help, y'all. But what do you need help with? Nothing. I just seen glasses. I need. I don't know what to do. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Okay. All right. Hey, look how he's talking to her. Like in a uh -huh. condescending tone. Yeah. Where you going? Uh, away from yeah, your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water. Yeah. All right, so look, get it. Uh, this is a tragic situation, you know what I'm saying? But it's no different than what they've been doing to us, you know what I mean, for over 400 years in this country. We're gonna, I, I, I want to play this back again so that we can point out a couple of things. There's a lot of information floating around the Internet about Sean Grayson and his character. A lot of information floating around about the type of man that he's been prior to this situation, prior to being uh, kicked out of the army. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of info. On, hey, we have a couple more clips where our brother actually goes into a couple of things, especially dealing with the tattoos uh, that he has on his arm. It goes all the way back to something that uh, Bishop Nathaniel brought out yesterday with the militia groups that right. are set up in these different, in, di in every different state. Right. Every state has a militia group. You know right. what I'm saying? Whether they're known or unknown, there's a militia group. These Edomites are banned together in their own little coalition uh, organizations right. where that our people don't know about. Grayson is a part of one of those things. But let's run the clip back slowly. Run it back. Well, I'll tell you when to pause. Why would it hurt you? You called us. Okay. So what would you hear? Uh, somebody keeps outside my house, y'all. Uh, uh -huh. Please, I'm trying to get help, y'all. Pause, pause, pause. Notice she said, she says, please, I'm trying to get help. She know Mr. Grayson. Right. Now, allegedly, and I'm saying allegedly because we don't got the hardcore right. facts. But allegedly, Mr. Grayson and the police department, Illinois Police Department, they were involved in a shooting back in June that involved her four-year-old nephew right. that was shot and killed by police as well. Mm -hmm. It's also alleged that uh, Sean Grayson's girlfriend works at the mental place that uh she was that Sonya was admitted to notice in the next clip he's going he's going to ask her how how how's her mental mm -hmm. so there's there's a lot of things around this uh incident that haven't that hasn't been you know exposed yet but it's starting to be put together based on what people in the area know uh information that's already been been, been put out there and what we can kind of put together you know what I'm saying so allegedly these are things that are happening but hey, let's go ahead. The first thing she says when he comes to the door is, please don't hurt me. Exactly. How like, she know that? that? How she right. how she know she going to get hurt? Right. right. That's crazy. She, uh, she they've, uh, There's already been some type of interaction right. between right. her and that officer. To where she knows what kind of pain he can inflict on right. her and her family. She's yeah. nervous. She, she's nervous. I hope you got it paused in the same spot. She already know what type of man he is. She right. already right. know. She right. already know. Uh, run it back a couple of seconds. Not far. Just a little, just a little couple of seconds. That's too far. Go back. That's too far. Right there. Did you hear us? Right there where she says, please. Play. I'm trying to get help, y'all, but. What do you need help with? Nothing. I just. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. You see that? Yeah. She know this man. Right. And she, she probably she's, mad that he the one that came to the dope. And she's right. nervous as right. hell. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, I'm, I'm I'm tell you, I'll be honest. I'm putting this together based off of what. I've been seeing other people put together over the internet, right. so maybe it's true to it, but maybe it's maybe some truth to it. It maybe it might not be, but 
Grayson got a thing. He he he, he has a vendetta for Sonya. Right, right. right. That, yes. From what I heard, he, uh, they didn't even want him to take the call, and he took it anyway. Right. Damn. So look, based on what is on the internet, and what I'm putting together is the noise that she heard. Now, I'm not saying this is true, but I'm just saying that we're playing detective here. Right. The noise that she heard was made by Sean Grayson. Mm. He was the one doing the banging. How he get there so quick? Damn. And why his damn body cam off? Right. right. Like, he's the first one to show up on the scene. Mm. After, he's not supposed to be the one taking the call. Right. And you know, it's funny how... Like you said, you spoke about the body cam. That's a law. And yeah. just, how many yes. times right. over and over are we finding out that police are breaking that law of not uh, having a body cam on, and we have to pay the price with our life for it? Right. Right. Now, what I think, and this, this is me, what I think is it's a setup, bro, bro. Right. He went over there, made the noise, you know what I'm saying? And then knowing she would call the police, he showed up, bang, 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 knocked on the door, body cam off. It's all, it's this is his plot already. Right. How he end up in the house? Something is something is missing because you notice there's no body cam footage of him actually entering the house because his partner right. goes to, goes back to the actual vehicle, shining light on the vehicle. We don't got that particular mm-hmm. clip, but his his partner leaves. His partner's body cam is on. That's right. the that's what we're watching. Now, we're watching the edited version. Yeah, we, we're, right. watching, we're watching the edited version because his partner actually leaves and goes to the car that was banged in, beat up or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? It looked like it was, sh- it was, it was shot at, the window busted in or whatnot. Mm. And when he comes back to the door, Sean is already in the house. So we don't know how, whether he invited himself in, whether she invited him in. All we know is that he's now in the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? So press play. She says, please, God, please, God, I don't know what to do. Please, God, please, God, I don't know what to do. Why Why is she so frantic? Right. Because the police are there. Right, she's supposed to feel safe with the police there. We call them, and you you call them. This ain't the only incident we got. We got multiple incidents where the police is called. The men that are, are they badged up, you know what I'm saying, and they are sworn in to serve and, and protect. protect. Right, right. But they go to kill. Like, these dudes go to kill. And then I, I want you to hold Zachariah uh, 11 and 5. You got me? Okay. Hey, I'll read a, read, read a better be on point. Yeah. All right, we already know. It's, 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 we on point. You know right. what I'm saying? We, hey, we can, we can brag about this reader right here. Like right. Atlanta, you know, y'all be, you know what I'm saying? We got to, can't have this. <laughs> <laughs> All <Message>. crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, this dude already, he's already got an attitude and asking her about her mental state. If there was no prior interaction, knowing because Sonya has a mental condition, right. if there was no type of uh, previous uh, interaction between those two, what prompts him to ask specifically about her mm-hmm. mental condition? Right. Exactly. He knows enough about her. Now, just to make sure, this happened back in February? This happened July 6th. Oh, July 6th. Okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. Just happened. That's just, just happened. Just happened. Okay. Yeah, July 6th. Okay, so play on. Sure. Her medicine, All right. She's on her medicine. Look, look, pause, pause. She trying to close the door. Right. We missed that. She's trying to go back in, the, to house. Go back in the house. And it's like, listen, she said, thank y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Right. Yeah. She's trying to get it, she trying to get, get it <laughs> over with. That's closing remark. Yeah. Right there. Black it up. Yeah, play from right there. Thank y'all. All right. So how, what happened? Why do, why, why do we get this edited click, click? You know what I'm saying? Now they're in the house. Right, in the house. Something wrong, man. Yeah. Something wrong. That's why th- these types of things, you, you know how we just trying to piece everything together? This is how I, our forefathers were back in the day. The same patrollers that came through and terrorizing the neighborhood or terrorizing Rosewood or terrorizing right. Tulsa. This is the same type of situation we've had to deal with. Where we're hearing the, the end result of one of the loss of our brother or our sister, and we got to piece together what really happened with who was there and how it came about. And this is affliction. And this video, this is why we don't trust the police. Right. Mm-hmm. This right. is why we don't trust the media. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's just in these situations, they're going to continue to happen, Israel. Just, just, hey, I'm surprised 
uh, this this is only one that's been made public like this in a while. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had one made this public in a while, but it's gonna continue to happen. Let's go. Let's play through it. Play through the rest of it. Boom. There's a pot of water. There's a pot of water, man. Hot water. She ain't got no gun. She ain't got no knife. Right. Right. Hot water. Right. That's it. Well, She's and, trying and to take it off the stove. In the white man's mind, he said, well, fire for fire. Hot <laughs> water for hot bread. Yeah, that's that, right. that's yeah. how that's enemies how, think. That's how they think. They meant for, they're given the, uh, the, the, the blessing of war. Right. So that's what he saw. Play on. Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water. Uh, so look, 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 hold on. That's the setup. Where, where you going? Away from your hot steaming water. <laughs> I'm getting away from this hot steaming water. I got to get away from that hot steaming water you got in your hand. So you're getting away. You're taking measures of defense for yourself. Bro, what the hell is, like, this is, the, this is, the, the, this is a plan. This is the plot. This is that lamentation as they hunt our steps. That's right, what the, right. get that for me too. That's what th that's what this is. This whole thing is a setup, man. Right. Oh, you can't tell me no different. Go ahead, Ross. And think about it. She called because she said it was an intruder outside. You in the house having a casual conversation with this woman. Why aren't you looking for the intruder? Right, right, Where, right. Where's the backup? Mm -hmm. These are the things that make you know that this was personal. Yes, this it was definitely personal. Go back to the video. Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now. I'll you in the name of Jesus. Pause, pause, pause. Now what? Right. Look, look at his hand. She wasn't even saying it in a in a hostile way like most most Christians would be like, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Something like I'm that. I'm going to tell you what he comprehended. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what Esau comprehended. I'm going to shoot you in the name of Jesus. Right. right. That's what he that's That's what he comprehended. That's why he said, "Ah, oh, you you better you better not. Hey, you, I, you better not." He comprehended in his mind. Play it back. I'm gonna tell you. That's what he comprehended in his brain, bro. He 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 wanted he, the situation played out perfect for him. Mm. Play it again. Yeah. Oh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I shoot you in the name of Jesus. Pause it. Tell me. Tell me. Rebuke and shoot don't sound alike. They don't. Right. Now he know. That ain't what she said, mm. right. but it was perfect. It went right along with what he was thinking. Hold yeah. on, I know he didn't say that. She, he thought that she said, "I'm gonna no, shoot you." No, he didn't say that. I'm oh, saying, that, yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> and I, what I'm saying. The, uh, let me get it straight. This is all me thinking like a damn Edomite. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, yeah, let's put that this, out. This is me thinking like a damn Edomite. You We've know been oppressed saying? enough to have yeah, a, yeah. a inner Edomite hey, listen, that we can. Right. We work. <laughs> right. I work with these motherfuckers every single day. Right. You know what I mean. They come, they, they be on the job. They be trying to play these games with me. So I know, I'm telling you, I know how they think. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They will take your words, huh? What'd you say? You heard what you heard what I said. Right. You wanted, you wanted it to be something else. Right. And that's what he did. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Right. How in the hell you get, yeah. you better not, you, you better not. Yeah. Who ain't heard, I'm going to rebuke you in the name of Jesus right. before? Right, right. And, you know, when he, when she says it the first time, his hand is already on the gun. Right. Already ready. there. Ready. Already there. He already and agitated. She, and look, and she got the pot down. She's just looking at him. Yeah, right. she it's ain't got no pot in her hand. Right. There's no threat there. She got she got a mitt in her hand. Uh, in the both mitt, hands. Yeah, the, the mitts in her hands to to hold the pot. That's all she got in her hand. When he pulls the trigger, the pot is still on the stove. Stove, right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. That's your old mama saying. Yeah, right. I ain't never right. know nobody thought their life was in no, danger because no. they said that. No, right. no, no. But, but what? It, the white man has already concocted a, a certain potion for the black woman anyway. Yeah. Right. So they got certain catchphrases anyway that the white man would say, all right, I'm going to leave her alone. She she good. She, she ain't going to do me no harm. Right. He already came in there ready to he destroy was, her. Bro, right. I'm telling you, this this cracker was on the scene. He knocked on. He He's the, no, the one that made the noise. Right. Oh, I'm just saying. This is me talking, family. This is me. He's the one that's on the scene. He's the one that's around there making the noise. He knew she would call the police. Right. He turned right. his body cam off. He shows up at the door. Bang, 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 bang. Right. And then the first thing she says is, please don't hurt. She gets agitated like, oh, damn, yeah. it's you. It's you. Right. Yeah. It's right. you. Because she probably has some information that goes back to that situation with her nephew. Well, we're going to get some of that right. information here in a minute. She, she probably cared. And you know what? How can you have witness protection 
if the people who are supposed to be protecting you are the ones out they, for your blood. Exactly. Right. Oh, we're going to get that, too. Let's play on it. We need some scriptures here in a minute. All right, we about to get it. What, the, what you said? IT. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. Pause. I'm just saying. I got to pause again. How come it's always I'll shoot you in your head or I'll shoot you in your face? If the, if the hot steaming water was that much of a threat, why not shoot her in the hand? Right. Why not shoot her in the shoulder and, and, and make, the, make her drop the pot? Yeah. Why not shoot her in the leg, make her fall down? Right. You, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better not. I will shoot you in your face. Yeah, what happened to the dummy rounds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the what happened bullets? to a taser that close right there? Right. It's right. a freaking pot. Taser is actually supposed to be the first, uh, um, uh, first wave of defense for a police officer. And keep in mind, they came because she called, called them. Yeah. Right. So how is the, she the ain't no threat? A victim. Now the threat, and they, tr- you know, they trying to uh, 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 vindicate him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to get his job. Trying back. to get him, get him his job back, and say it was a justified kill. A d- it was a justified kill. They some damn, they the damn devil. The Bible speak of. Right. Play on. Unbelievable. I'm gonna go get my kid. No, that's a that's an unjustified kill. That is an unjustified kill. Now, if this don't get you, but if this listen, if this don't get you stirred up in the spirit, you ain't got no spirit. Right. If this don't get your mind into a war mode, you ain't got no mind for war, man. Right. I'm telling you, just get on the sideline, go learn to bake some damn bread, sew some freaking fringes, right. do something like that. But this right here is, is supposed to stir the men of war up. We are at war for the lives of our people. Right. And these things are going to continue to happen until we start standing up as a people with the laws of God. Because when we can, when we can call on each other, you ain't got to call the damn police. Right. I should be able to say, hey, let me call. Let me hit Casada. Let me hit uh, uh, Yair real quick. There's something going on around the crib. Hey, listen. Something going on around the crib, bro. I need y'all to come through real quick. Right. Pull up like right. like pull up like you and jump out like we finna do something. Hell, if anybody around there, when you pull up, hell, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? We should be able to call each other. Right. Right. But we can't call each other, so we continuously reach out for them. Get that in Lamentations real quick, four. Lamentations, chapter four, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. So our eyes continue to fail over and over and over and over again for this vain help. We constantly look to the system to help us. We constantly look to the same people that oppress us, set up these traps for us to help us, and there is no help in at the end. There's only death. There's only destruction. That's all the, That's all our end is when we depend on them. Read it again. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Come on. In our watching. In our watching, in our, in, in, in our dependency. Right. In our state of dependency upon the same system that has oppressed us, that has, that has put us at the bottom, in this oppression, come on. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. We're watching at a nation that will not save us. They are not, it's not, they're not, their molecular structure is not designed to save you. Right, right. The infrastructure in their brain don't comprehend helping an Israelite man or a woman. Right, no. God told us in the Bible from the jump that this is a perpetual hatred. This hatred that he got for you is never going anywhere, bro. It's going to be there forever. You think when you call him, he's there to assist you? He's here to find a way to put your ass under the dirt, bro. Right. 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 Simple as that. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Read. They hunt our steps. That Grayson hunted her steps. That's what he did. I wouldn't give a damn. I could be 100% 100% wrong. I'm right to me, goddamn. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm right to me. I've seen it over and over. I, there's enough evidence in the world for me to say I'm right in this situation and, to, and believe in that. Sean Grayson, he made the damn noise. He knew she would call the police. He turned his body cam off, and he came, he was on the scene to murder Sonya Massey. <laughs> Period. <laughs> there's enough evidence for me to say that by how they've operated with our people 
every single time. Right. right. From the time of Rodney King until now. Exactly. That's when we were start when we were able to actually see it on video. The police brutality right. that's been happening behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. right. They've been hunting us for a long time. Technology now is exposing that stuff. Exactly. Right. Exactly. They, can't, they can't get away with it as as easy, easy as they was back in the days because of that camera phone and things of that nature. Right. Exactly. And you're speaking about evidence. If that was the other way around, if that would have been a black man shooting a white woman, yeah. it's oh, already shit. It's done over. Bro, it's over right. with. It's not he happening. He never right. went to jail, went to court, got sentenced, and in prison. Right. right. Or right. under the damn prison. Right. Probably got his ass beat by the police force that he worked for. <laughs> yeah. Let's it's keep real, it real. real. Straight up. Hey, finish that. Go for a reverse of 18 again. They hunt our steps uh -huh. that we cannot go in our street. This is what we're talking about with the Rodney King, with, with, with uh, Trayvon Martin, with Mike Brown. We can name a number of cases where we done got shot down in our own streets. Right. Our, our mothers are afraid to send their kids to school nowadays right. because you're afraid of what's going to happen to them in the streets. Right. Hey, we had people at camp telling us that once that happened, that the police was harassing them immediately after that happened where they couldn't feel safe in the streets. That's why we seen the electricity that was out there yesterday when we came. They saw hope right. when he was marching That's those streets. That. Right. And they saw that. So that, mean, that means for the last three weeks since this has happened, they ain't really been coming outside. They've been, they been, and listen, yesterday, mm. the police, they stayed up and down the street. Whoop, 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 whoop. And you can see the people looking back. They see the, they, they looking back. They see the police that like, circle around us and everything. I'm telling them, look, don't worry about them. There's more with us than they got with them. Right. We got the angels of the Lord with us. You ain't got to worry. Right. You can stand right here. They can't stop this. Right. There's nothing that they can do against this work that's going to go out here today. And the people came out in droves. I'm talking about in droves. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a uh, been to camp and seen in a small section that we was in yesterday. We had eight camps in that small section. All the camps had ten to fifteen people, bro. Right, mm -hmm. coming out, coming from the stores. They were coming from the damn Christian church. Right, they had a funeral over there. Across. They were leaving out the Christian church, coming across the street, and in agreement. Now, whether they repent, that's of the Lord. But they got that word yesterday. They got more yesterday in in, in in an hour and a half, two hours, than they got in that church that they in that in that graveyard they walked out of. Right. Reverse eighteen again. They hunt our steps uh -huh. that we cannot go in our streets. Mm. Our end is near. Our end is near, though. Come on. Our days are fulfilled. Our days are fulfilled because it's prophecy. These are the things that we gotta go through. As the children of Israel who disobeyed God's commandments. Right. right. As the chosen people of God who disobeyed their father, this is the punishment that we're going through. This is it. Give me that in Hosea. This is the punishment. We have to suffer at the hands of our enemies because God, he, the most high God, he had to let us really see what punishment looks like. What punishment really feels like when he is not in the midst of us. This is what's happening. Read. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. This is what we got to do as a people, not as an individual, not as not, not as they teach us in the Christian church. Oh, I'm, say, I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. How in the hell, what, <laughs> Jesus just came back and saved you? What right. the hell are you saved right. from with exactly. a knee on your neck? Exactly. How, you, how are you saved? When all, when all of these atrocities are continuously happening to your people. You saved and you live three houses down from Sonia Massey. Right. But Sonia Massey just got put to death. This is not a me condition. Right. This is a we condition. Right. We sinned against God as is recorded in 1 Kings. We did that as a people. So we are going to be redeemed as a people. We got to get That's this through right. our mind, man. We got to get this through our mind. Again, if we were unified, like the Lord is telling us to do, then our sister would have been able to call on a righteous brother instead of the damn her damn enemy, the white man who is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Right, right. Read right. that again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge our offenses, these things are going to continue to happen to us as a people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, these things will continue to happen. Read. And seek my faith. We got to seek the face of God. Not in that damn uh, uh, graveyard of a church that we go to or that you go to on Sundays. Because you ain't getting nothing out of there. That's what Sonia got that saying from. I rebuke you in the name right. of Jesus. That right. comes from the Christian church. Right. That's where that comes Woo. from.
We got to come up out of the philosophies and lies that we've learned in that Christian church. You got to come back to this Bible as an Israelite. Read. In their affliction. In their affliction. When we're afflicted, when we shot down in the streets, when we're shot down in our own homes, when we're looking at brothers and sisters that's being oppressed in their own communities, then we seek God. We want to know why are these things happening, oh God. Oh God, why are these things got to happen to us? Because we broke God's commandments. Read. Right. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Uh huh. Go back to that lamentation. Let's finish that. This is great. Like, it's amazing how we continuously bring out the same scriptures over and over and over and over. Hey, before you get there, can I get a precept to yes. go right with that? Yes, sir. Do hey, that. Give me Job 36 and 15. You say, in their affliction, they will seek me early. And that's what's going on right now. It's going to take affliction for our people to come back to this word. Right. Because right now they just say, man, them brothers just out there teaching the Bible. But it's things like this that's going to make our people return back to God. Read that. Job chapter 36, verse 15. He delivereth the poor in his affliction. Read. Mm -hmm. And openeth their ears in oppression. See, that's what's happening right now. Their ears are opening. They're hearing these prophets coming out teaching our people on these streets. And that those people yesterday, they heard the word for the first time. Right. And they realizing, hey, we got real enemies, and it's not us. Mm -hmm. right. We got to stop looking at each other like we the enemy. Right. Nah, and that's heavy what y'all was saying. Like our uh, cap was bringing out how when they saw when they saw us marching through, and the people just started coming out in droves because they see it's a different vision, it's a different hope that they see now. Right. It's right. not right. Al Sharpton or them other brothers walking around. They, they don't seen that song a million times already. Right. This movement now is different. Get Isaiah sixty one verse one real quick. Mm -hmm. Because when our people hear this gospel now, it, it's starting to take effect now, and that that's how we know that the end is coming, and eventually the target's going to be on us because they see. That our people, yes, some of them still reject us, but they hear the goodness and they 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 hear the good news and the salvation and the change within what we're doing with right. the unity that they see out there. Read that. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. Because this is why Christ said this when he was preaching. Read. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Right, because they see a group of men, hundreds of men now that they gathered together in a matter of days, hours to go and travel far. March in line, sacrifice sleep, sacrifice time with their family to go out there and preach this gospel. The spirit of the Lord is on these men. Read. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Right. The Lord has, an, has anointed our men. That's what, that's what Christian means, the anointed ones. Right. right? And he's anointed our men to preach the good tidings to the meek. That good news. Read. He has sent me. To bind up the brokenhearted. They know that there's some type of solution now. Their broken hearts are being binded up. Read. To, pro to proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim what? Liberty to the captives. They can finally see some form of liberty. Some type of All justice right. behind the actions is coming. They're seeing the power in the word of God. Read. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The opening of the prisons to them. We're bound here in America. America is the biggest prison house we can be in right now. Yes, it's not just the, the, the jail cells and things of that nature. The, just the United States of America, this hateful, diabolical kingdom, right. is a prison house to our people. And when they see us and when they hear this gospel, they feel that liberty now. They, they see the freedom that we have. Right. Right. When we walk around, we ain't worried about no, no Edomites. We're not worried about no police. We're not worried about nothing. The spirit of the Lord comes on us. And we move without any type of fear to, to seek liberty, right, for our captives. Read on. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And that's what we're doing. We're proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord. And here's the point. Read. And the day of vengeance. The day of justice. Word. The day of vengeance. Read. Of our God. Because our God is the one that's going to give us vengeance. And then what is he going to give us? To comfort all that mourn. Because our people are in mourning today. And now they see the comfort behind the work that's being done by our men that is doing this thing. That's right. That's, that's beautiful, right. man. Now you read Romans, they talk about how beautiful are the feet of man, the shoot, read on. Gospel. Read on, hell. Keep go. reading. Read on. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. The, them that mourn. We are the one that mourn in Zion. Zion are us, the children of Israel who, are, who have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and put in That's these ghettos right. that are all across America and mm -hmm. in the earth. We are Zion that mourn. We're mourning for justice. Right. We're mourning for peace. We're mourning for to, to, to be accepted in this society when this society has nothing to offer us. Right. We are the Zion that's mourning. Read. To give unto them beauty to for give ashes. What? To give what? To give unto them beauty for ashes. The ashes that we have right now is oppression. Mm. The Bible is saying that 
The Lord is going to give us beauty in this day right here. That beauty is going to be them chains coming off of our necks, them chains coming off of our minds, right. and understanding that we are, the, we are the Israelites, we are the true people of God, keeping his commandments. And when we're set back up in rulership, everything is going to be under our thumb. Right. The same people that oppressed us, now they're going to have to go through the same things that they have done to us. Read. The oil of joy the for oil, morning. The oil of joy for morning. Come on. The garment of praise. The for garment of praise. Like right now, we got these old, old, old Edomite style <laughs> right. clothes. You know what I'm saying? We need that. We need a garment of praise, which is the commandments of God. Right. That's what we're gonna be clothed in. The commandments of in righteousness of our heavenly Father. Read. For the spirit. Of heaviness. The spirit of what? Heaviness. The spirit of heaviness is on us right now. Right. Sonia Massey's mother and do her, her daughter was on the phone as I was teaching yesterday. Dang. FaceTime. Dang. Getting the word, getting, the, getting the, the understanding of who we are and why we suffer the things that we suffer. Read. That they might be called trees. That we might be called what? Trees uh -huh. of righteousness. Now, this trees ain't talking about your palm tree that's standing outside. <laughs> this ain't talking about your, your upright uh, pine tree. This is talking about the men of God, the men of, uh, uh, of the children of Israel who are going to be standing in righteousness in this day. Come on. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. Because when we stand in this truth, when we stand in righteousness by God's commandments, we are like, what, and what that saying in Psalms 1? We are like a, a, tree, a tree that will not wither yeah, because right. we are planted by good water. We are planted on, in good soil. This is the soil we got to plant ourselves in within this Bible. Read. That Ooh. he... Might be glorified. That we might be glorified. This is what we got to do. Go ahead, Officer Marshall. I see you trying to enter. Yeah, I, I want in Hosea 6 and 1. I thought you was going to get it. Go ahead. I, yeah. I, I, 6 I, and 1. But I'm saying these, something for these you. points that we're making, that's that's why as men of the Lord, we are important to, to the pushing of this gospel. We got to be in place because when the people see us marching together, singing in unity, building that hope, because like you said, those people felt oppressed before we got there. Yeah. So the right. fact that they saw the men of the Lord walking down the street, they're like, yo, we got to follow them wherever they're going because we thought we were by ourselves. Read Hosea 6 and 1. Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Because this is what that march of unity shows to our people, that order. Read. Come. And let us return unto the Lord. So as soon as we showed up on the block, boots on the ground, this is the message that we said. We didn't have to open our mouths, but our unity says this message. Read it again. Come and let us return unto the Lord. We must return to the Lord because our sins have put us into the hands of our oppressor. Our sins have brought forth this affliction. Read on. For he hath torn. And he will heal us. So we've already, we, we continue to receive the affliction. But guess what? The Lord is going to heal us. All we have to do is be obedient. We have to be those trees of righteousness. Read on. That's right. He has smitten and he will bind us up. So we're seeing the continual destruction of our people, the hatred towards our people. But the Lord says all we have to do is obey his laws and he will bind us up. Read on. After two days, will he revive us? So during those two days, those 2,000 years, we've been afflicted. We've see, we see the, multi, the, the, the multitude of, uh, of history. We see the slavery. We see the affliction, the oppression, the colonization. Those things have happened to us to destroy us. Our enemies have always wanted to destroy us, but the Lord says, I'm going to revive you. They've been trying to kill us. They still kill us to this day. But read on. In the third day. And in the third day, and we're in the third day. That's why when we go to these places, we do these blitzes, it's important that the men of the Lord tank up, get there, mm -hmm. be that beacon of hope for your people. Because right now we're in the time of our revival. Read on. He will raise us up. Go ahead. And we shall live in his sight. And we're living in his sight. So as we go out to teach our people, our people are being afflicted. And we have to stand up for our people because nobody else is going to do it. The Ben Crump, Ben Crump makes people go back into their house and hide. Right. Exactly. We rely on the white man to come serve justice. Exactly. But the men of the Lord, we're gonna show them come and follow the Lord. I'm gonna show you something. And this is this this goes for our people that maybe you may be new, you may be watching. This goes for brothers and sisters that for brothers that are here in this truth. Because right. when when it when the call is made, the true prophets of the Lord, if you're a prophet of God, you ain't gonna make no excuse. Because our people, just like today, are looking for a sign. We've Israel has always wanted a sign. Right. When you go through the scriptures, Israel always want a sign to show that God is with us. Right. We've always hoped for that thing. But I'm going to show you something. Give me that. Give me Psalms chapter 86 and verse 17. I think it's the, it's the last verse. Psalms 86 and 17. Because right before we got there, there was minimal movement. In fact, once we hit, when we hit the streets, I'm looking like, you know how we, when you go to camp sometimes, right, you're like, right. damn, they don't look dead as hell out here. Like, what the hell going on? When we hit the block, 
I'm looking around. I'm like, well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't see too many people out. Bro, as soon as the chanting started, it seemed like people just came out of nowhere. The streets started crowding up. All of a sudden, there was traffic in the street. It was crazy. Hey, and they were doing something that most cities don't do. They was pulling over. And exactly. Stopping. Mm. They was they pull- stopped the traffic. Exactly. But I'm gonna show you something. That whole week or those last the last three weeks of them in that neighborhood has been hell. The police are patrolling up and down the damn block. It's like they they keeping them in the house. They they're afraid to come out. Right. They don't know what to do. And then you get 500, 700 men, a thousand men show up in your city. I said all them numbers because I don't want you to know which number it was. <laughs> right. All these men show up in your city at one time, and now you're looking like, damn, where they from? Because they ain't from here. And you find out they from all over the states. They from all, they from every state that done showed up here in your neighborhood to support you, to show you and give you a sign, give you hope right. for what is to come in the future. Read that in Psalms 86 and verse 17. Psalms chapter 86, verse 17. Show me a token. This is our people. Mm. They want to see a token. How do we know? How do we know that God is with us? How do we know that God is for us? Read. Show me a token for good that they which hate me. That what? Mm. They which hate me. That these same Edomites that put us in slavery, that shoot us down in the streets, that drag us out their hair stores, that curse us out when we come to buy right. water in their damn store, that shoot us in the in, in the back when we leave their damn store. Right. Them that hate us, what? May see it. That they may see the sign. That's what you're seeing. When, you, when we hit your neighborhoods. That Ezekiel 37, that army rising up, right. that is the reason that we got to show up for our people when the call is made. That's the reason that we got to put our, we got to strap our boots together, put our money together, do whatever we got to do to show that we are greater than what they did in the early 60s right. when they did right. their marching. Right. Right. They had no, they marched and went home. We march and we stand there and we teach you out of God's word. That's right. Give you the real solutions for your problems. That they may, that they that hate us, what? May see it uh-huh. and be ashamed. And be what? Mm. Ashamed. They should be ashamed for what they're doing to our people. Because when the day comes and they got to bite that bullet, they're going to understand every reason why they're biting this bullet and these things are being done to them. Read. Because thou, Lord, has hope in me and comforted me. We, mm. The Lord has comforted us. We got to come to this Bible for our for the comfort. This That's what we got to do. All right? I think we done that's killed right. that one. <laughs> oh, no. All right. That was a good rant. Hey. What you got, Marshall? I got one more. As we go to the next clip, I, I got one more. I got one more. Go ahead, Isaiah forty and three. Because when we teach, that's the spirit of Elijah within us. Our forefather Elijah, bringing back the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. Get that, at Isaiah forty and three. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter forty, verse three. Go ahead. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Go ahead. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. So when they see us and we say, come and return unto the Lord, we, pr- we also teaching them how to get themselves ready right. for the return of the Lord. Read on. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. So sometimes that desert is us as a people. We done dried up. We, we lost. We famished. We, we uh, using, uh, well, how do I say it, in thirst. We're needing some nourishment, and we're lacking that. We don't have the right leaders. But now we're saying return to the Lord. He is our king. He is our governor. Right. Read on. Every valley shall be exalted. Go ahead. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. Go ahead. And the crooked shall be made straight. Read on. And the rough places plain. Go ahead. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory of the Lord is being revealed to our people in these last days. Yes, we're going to have to go through affliction. Yes, we're going to have to prepare ourselves for famine and persecution. But the glory of the Lord is being revealed in these last days. Read on. And all flesh shall see it together. All flesh is going to see it. The people of God. The people of the devil, all, all the ch- everybody's going to see the Lord being revealed in his glory. Read on. For That's the mouth right. of the Lord has spoken it. And this is why when we go out on the streets and teach our people, it got to be strictly from the Bible. Because right. the word of the Lord is what has declared it and decreed it from the beginning. So we're just the ones living it out. That's it. All praise to the most high. Hey, yes, just one more verse. One hey, more do, verse. Do Bring it out. Bring it out. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Because I say, hey, we've seen a lot of people and they saw hope. And you know what? They want to be a part of this. Yeah. They want to be a part of this. But you got to take that step and make that change. And, you, and, hey, we didn't come together because we was all together. We heard that word. We came together from all over this world, right. all over this country. And we came to do the work of the Lord. We came to stand up for our people. And that's what we got to start realizing, that there's no hope in the other nations. They're not going to help you. We can only help ourselves. Right. Read that. 
Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. We, that's always been the answer. That's always been the solution for us to gather ourselves together and gather ourselves together keeping God's laws, right. doing what he say. That's the that's playbook right. for success. Exactly. Read. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the child, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Listen, there's going to be either two sides, the side that's win or the side that's losing. Right. You want to be on the Lord's side. Right. You want to be on the side of those soldiers of the Most High God. You want to be on the side of your people standing up against your enemy. Right. This is the time and this is now. So if you want to join, hey, look up, look us up. Right. And you can find us. We ain't hard to find. Hey, that's heavy. Hey, hey, Cap brought that thing out yesterday because, yo, sidebar, there is a couple of brothers out in that Springfield area. Um, mm -hmm. One brother that, that that's with us, you know, me Lord's with a brother, continue to push, and he comes all the way in, put his, put his boots on the ground, join MOV, and become a pillar for the community out right. there. It's about an hour and a half from the school that we have in uh, St. Louis. So, Lord's will, we're going to continue to build with the brother. He get built up, and there's also another uh, organization out there that's broken. You know, uh, I won't say their name, but the it goes back to what you just said about being on the winning team. Right. You know, uh, Israel United in Christ, we the winning team. Right. right. You know what I'm right. saying? It, it is what that's it is. You right. can, I mean, hey, the proof is in the pudding. If you don't like it, I don't care. The vanguard. This is the winning team. All right? We, we, we are the army of the living God. Right. We that's are the it. armies of the living God. That's right. right. Who are we? The armies of the living God. The armies of the living God. The armies of the living God. That's who we are. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Capo Shot. Made that thing up on the spot. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We are the armies of the living God. This the winning team right here. You see the work being done. You see what's going on. If you on a losing team, I wouldn't give a damn what nobody think about me. If you losing and you always losing, bro, I can't be on your team, bro. Right. To be you. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they winning over here. Yeah. yeah. You know, they winning over here. And the proof is in the pudding. They winning according to the instructions of God, right. not by their own will and doing their right. own thing. So, Lord's will, we get brothers to continue to go to that area because the people, they are hungry, bro. Right. They did right. not want us to lead. Seven. They didn't want us to leave. But they, a little girl followed us they all, followed us all the way back. back to the uh, staging area, man. They did not want us. Even when we was in the in the in the field staging, people they were still coming around and why and parking. They they don't they want the truth out there. They want that hope. They want a place a sanctuary where they can go in and feel safe right. from damn murderous uh, uh, Edomites like Sean Grayson. Mm -hmm. They saw that beacon of light come through their neighborhood right. for the exactly. first time. Exactly, there was hope. Hey, let's play this next clip, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of the, hey, this brother, I'm just telling you, he doing the same thing I'm doing. He, he being a, uh, he, he's being a detective. A street detective. Yeah, from, <laughs> from, from the internet. We just, we're not taking nothing factual, but we're going to listen as he puts his pieces together for what he thinks allegedly right. happened. Allegedly. All right? Allegedly. Play that. New update on the Sonia Massey situation, and this is getting deep, y'all. So apparently in his mug shots, they were going around X, and people started to go in the comments and say, wait a minute, that tattoo on his um his forearm looks real familiar. Now, I got to digging to see what it actually was, and guess what I found? So these are the tattoos right here. Now, to the normal average person, this might just look like skulls, and oh, it's a nice tattoo or whatever, but guess what? These are Totenkopf tattoos that are apparently um, equivalent to basically a badge of honor um, in, a, in, a, in a racial supremacist uh, group. Child, we ain't through yet neither. So apparently the sources that I got oh, yeah, down here in Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, yeah, yeah, yeah. pause, pause. We ain't finna run, back. He, we ain't finna run past that right he there. He did the auntie Come grandma on, talk. Come on, man. Hey, listen. So we ain't gonna run past the fact that he just said what he said. Child, what he say? Child, we ain't done. I heard it. I just want to see if he was gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Child, we ain't done yet." Hey, hold on, <laughs> bro. This is the problem. Now I got, I got to give him credit. He's doing some research. He's trying to put it together. But damn it, be a man, right? right. Be a man. We don't need no damn effeminate homo brothers with no damn woman ass tendencies on the front line talking about situations that's gonna cause you to get put to death. Right. Like this is not a game. Right. Brothers take this thing for a joke. This is not no joke, man. 
Right. This is we, time stamp like men. Yeah, really? bro. Th- we are literally in war. This is a fight for the lives of our people, for the li- for your own life. Right. right. This ain't no damn laughing and joking situation. So be man for when you when when, when you step up to the plate like that, bro. Right. No damn child, whatever. The hell. Run it back. Talking about child, it ain't child. Over. We ain't through yet. Neither. Why you had to start right there? <laughs> go back. I don't like somebody's auntie. Yeah, go back. Right. Go back a little the hell bit. Is this? Right there. Oh. Basically, a badge of honor um, in, a, in a in a racial supremacist uh, group. Child, we ain't through yet neither. So apparently, the sources that I got down there in Springfield say that the police have been covering up mad stuff that he been doing throughout the past couple of years. Okay, so this is an ongoing thing, and I heard he was dishonorably to be discharged from the army. So that wasn't a red flag from the beginning before he even started being in the police station. This is what I'm talking about, man. It's it's only it's only certain criteria for certain races and ethnicities. That's a shame. Y'all should have been stopped this. Now I got to dig it even more, and apparently he was having problems on this exact force before this even happened. This is a woman apparently from um um Sangamon County who had problems with Sean Grayson before this situation even happened. And I blocked out her name because I didn't want to um, put her on this and I didn't, want, I didn't want this to tie back to her. But this says, Officer Sean Grayson, wow, you have been a dirty cop since you were sworn in, harassing multiple people, including myself, for years. Hell, you just pulled me over a couple months back and illegally uh, searched me. Always a racist, always a coward, and always using the badge to bully somebody. You were let go from multiple agencies and how... You got hired on the Sangamon County, uh, nobody knows. Now you have the blood of, a, of an innocent woman on your hands. Maybe true justice will be served. People think because you wear a badge, you're a good person. That is untrue. I hope you get all that you deserve. Pause. And if you notice how to... So, this goes back to what I'm saying. Now, I said, and I'll keep saying that these are things that I'm piecing together based off of what others are saying right. on the internet. But, you got people in Springfield who know Sean Grayson in the in the type of character yeah. that he has as a man. Now I'll tell I'll, I'll go on to tell you a little bit further. Me and Baruch, uh, uh, Officer Baruch here from South Carolina. Uh, Baruch, know you know how we send the men out, you know. So he they're out doing their little recon or whatnot, passing out some flies and things of that nature. And they run across this one brother who's do, who's cutting grass. Um, the incident with the sister took place about in a car eight minutes driving from where. We was holding camp at. Mm. So the brother that was in the yard doing some work, they stopped having him a flyer. He helped Sonya move into that apartment Dang. Uh, about three months ago, something like that, three to five months ago. He helped her move into that apartment or into that house. He said when they moved her in, this is from uh, this is from somebody that we spoke to yesterday in Springfield, Illinois. When he helped move her in, that cracker was sir, was was surveillancing the neighborhood and giving them a hard time when they were moving her into the apartment. For the same cop, the, yeah. um, Sean. Sean Grayson. Uh, now, this is from, I don't know the brother's name, but this is from a brother that is that, that lives there. He does a lot of work around the community uh, with different families, like cutting their grass, right. you know, helping them move, like he helped Sonya move, things of that nature. And this is what he said. He didn't want to give a, an official interview yesterday because he was on somebody else's property. And uh, supposed to have been doing some work for them. He had to get it done by a particular time. But that's what he stated. Now, whether it's true or not, I'm not I'm not saying it's Alleged. true. Uh, allegedly, these are the things that are being said. Just like this brother right here is putting things together. Allegedly. Play on. The police look, um, when he came out of the house, all of them were uncomfortable with what he was saying. I'm not going to lie and act like they were all just on the same team. All of them looked uncomfortable and they were not talking to him. They weren't reacting to nothing he was saying or anything. If you go back and look at the videos, you can see this. We're going to see what the rest of this takes us. I'm still doing homework and it's a lot of stuff that came up that I don't know if it's true as far as his cousins, as far as, sorry, as far as Sonia Macy being related to the young man um, with what happened to him. I'm not going to put that out there. I don't think that they're related, but that's another situation within itself. I'll let y'all know what I find. I'm just a messenger. All right, let's drop that. You know what I'm saying? But I want to go to, there's another clip of a young lady that was shot. I think this took place back in December. Um, there's another clip of a young a young girl that was shot. She called the police because her boyfriend, which she shouldn't have had any damn way. Yeah, this one right here. Uh, she was shot as well. Uh, let's get the video first. 
and then we'll get the uh, the article. Wait a minute. Let's not run past that. Where's the article that uh, that you was talking about, Officer Kasai? Kasai had an oh, article dealing with the militia groups. I know. I, I don't want to run past the fact that how he brought out the uh, skull, the, 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 the Totenkopf uh, tattoo that Sean Grayson has on his arm. That is a tattoo from militia, a militia group. Right. right. All right. There's a lot of Edomites that are tied up into these militia groups, and there's a list of militia groups that Bishop brought out yesterday. Um, if we can find that that picture, if anybody got a screenshot, we can pull it up. But here's an article uh, on these different militia groups too. Officer, you want to go through this? Um, yeah, yeah. You can start at the beginning. You probably just read like three paragraphs. Man. The introduction. Hidden in plain sight: racism, white supremacy and far-right militancy in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. The government's response to known connections of law enforcement officers to violent racists and militant groups has been strikingly insufficient. Right. The, so the government's response is strikingly insufficient, meaning they're not even trying to investigate or get any type of um, solution or address the concerns by the community. Read. Introduction. Racial disparities have long pervaded every step of the criminal justice process. Mm -hmm. From police stops, searches, arrests, shootings, and other uses of force to charging decisions, wrongful convictions and sentences. Right. So we, we understand the racial disparities. I mean, we've been if you if you've been on this planet Earth and you've been a so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you understand the racial disparities. Um jump to the next paragraph. Um the next, the very next paragraph where it says on um, police reform. Police reforms often imposed after incidents of racist misconduct, misconduct or brutality have focused on addressing these unconscious manifestations of violence. Right, so they're trying to reform the police officers. Go ahead. The U.S. Department of Justice, for example, has required implicit bias training as part of consent decrees it, is imp it imposes to root out discriminatory practices and law enforcement agencies. Right, so they're trying to root out discriminatory practices and law enforcement agencies, but how can you root out a perpetual hatred that is already rooted in the, the people that are right. committing these crimes? And that, that's what these police officers are doing. They're committing the crimes. Go to the next paragraph now where it says these reforms. These reforms. While well intentioned, mm -hmm. so so it has a good intention behind the reforms. They have programs trying to stop the white cops from killing our people and yeah. being racist. And they make it sound good to the Negro, right? To make it, it right is. to try and appease us. Go ahead. Leave unaddressed an especially harmful form of bias. It still does nothing. It actually makes it worse. Go ahead. Which remains entrenched within law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Explicit racism. Mm -hmm. Explicit racism in law enforcement takes many forms. Go ahead. From membership or, or affiliation with violent white supremacy. That's that's the point right there. There's there's membership or affiliation with violent white supremacy. Go ahead. Or far right militant groups mm -hmm. to engaging in racially discriminatory behavior. Go ahead. Toward the public or law enforcement colleagues. Go ahead. To making racist remarks and sharing them on social media. Right. So this is what the police is doing, but we wanted to, to focus on that. There's members in the police department that are affiliated with these violent white supremacists and far right militant groups that Bishop brought out in the Sabbath class yesterday, mm -hmm. right? And these men are in in the police department, right. so there's no way in the world that's ever going to change. Our people better better wake up, right? Literally, and we we gotta have that war mindset, right? Right. This dude right here, Grayson. He's the low level of that thing. Exactly. Right? He's the yeah, low level. Exactly. So who is on the higher level of that thing? The judge that's going to release him and exactly. put him back into his position. Because right. we were talking about allegedly. Allegedly. Well, uh, with this camera footage just all of a sudden now coming out, like you said, it just happened at the beginning of July. Now it's starting to come out because they, they got to find a way to where they can maneuver it to where he is innocent. Oh, they're right. going to do that. They're already working on it. Right. I want to try to pull up, pull up, find some of them articles. There's an article about Sean Grayson. Type in Google, Sean Grayson. Uh, give, give me a word that, that that relates to him getting away. Uh, Sean Grayson uh, vindicated. Acquitted. Acquitted, acquitted or some yeah. shit like that. Because they try, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to restore him and saying that it's a justified kill. That's exactly what they're trying to do. What did I say? Shooting. Uh, nope. Uh, scroll down. Let me see what you typed in. 
Sean Grayson acquitted. Can I get uh, a script on that? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let's get that. Proverbs eleven twenty one. Because what we're tracking down right now is the, the paperwork showing how this government is going to let this man get away with cold-blooded murder. He wasn't being attacked. He, matter of fact, he got called to help. Right. But this man came into that house and killed our sister. Go ahead and read that. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Uh -huh. Though hand joined in hand, uh -huh. the wicked shall not be unpunished. And the reason why I went here because some of our own people are in the media right now trying to say, well, ain't no, it's, there's nothing racist about this. Yeah, there's no, no racial discrimination. Yeah, they, they, they overlooking the fact that we had to look up that this man is in the token call and the police station didn't even see it to uh, say he's not fit to go serve and protect the people. So why we got to do all the investigation? But th this is God's justice. Right. That's what we're waiting on, God's justice. Read it again. Though hand joined in hand. So we got to be careful who we join hand in hand with as right. God's people. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. The wicked shall not be unpunished. God said that the wicked, the so-called white man, Esau, Idumia, Edom, he will be punished. And we got to be mindful that we don't find ourselves in alignment with his wickedness in these last days. Mm -hmm. Is that it? No, sir. Read on. But the seed of the righteous Go ahead. shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous will be delivered. That's why we go out to the streets and teach. But, but, but sometimes our people are so sucked up in this world, so gunked up with, with white supremacy. We, some of our people actually enjoy white supremacy. Right. They don't feel oppressed at all. Nope. Right. Not no, at they don't all. feel oppressed at all. So that's why they can, with that policy you just read, that's why it can seem to have good intentions because the, the, the dead, dumb Negro, he going to say, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you for that. We will appreciate your intention. But no, we need action. We need right. action. This is war. This, the, if we, as you go through the internet and you look up different updates for Sean uh, Grayson, you'll see that he had many disciplinary actions against him from the military to other police forces. Like, mm -hmm. that's all true. It's all over the internet. That's all true. So what? How did he get hired for that county? You know how, because he's a part of the militia group, right? And the rest of those deputies that are there, the rest of those officers there, they're a part of those same groups, right? And they said, you know what? We 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 run everything anyway. So I mean, yeah, we'll hire him and put him in, put him right back in a car. You know, right. he's one of the good old boys. He you know fights for the good old boy system. You know, it's messed up, Cap. In this society, the black man got to have a good credit score to get certain jobs, to get yeah. certain insurance. Yeah. But this man got a terrible record. He can get, and guess what? And he just slid on in there and continue to hey. make a terrible record. And he's going to have a fund set up for him but that's going to generate millions of dollars. So if he don't go back to work, he paid for the rest of his life. He Dang. got the perfect quality for the job, which what? is he hate us. Right. Exactly. And that's why he got hired. Right. Like, exactly. you know, and that's part of the curse. We got to realize that right. our enemies hate us. I get Leviticus uh, 26 and 17 right. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you. He's going to set his face against us that don't want to keep these laws and commandments. Mm -hmm. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. That's what's happening. We're being slain before our enemies. They're not our friends. They are our enemies. And it's time for us to wake up and realize that. Read. They that hate you. They what? They that mm. hate you. They don't have no love for our people. They hate our guts. Read. Right. Shall reign over you. And that's how they can set up these militias. Mm. These are just legalized forms of governments. Right, that's right. all it is. They, we call them militias all they want to. They just work for the government. Right. And that's why they can have tattoos and, and those markings. Because, look, if we have gang tattoos, they already know, hey, he's part of uh, the blood. gangster society. Right. He's part of right. the blood. When they see those tattoos, they know he's part of that militia. That's why he can get hired. That's why he can go from another city. He know where there's a safe haven for him. Hey, back in the days, KRS one had a song, um, the sound of the police, where he said they, they turned in the, the, the hoods for a badge now in a blue right. suit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Go ahead, go ahead. Really? No, no, go ahead. And he shall flee when none pursueth you. We we make we in terror in our own neighborhoods because of these same people that hate our guts are now ruling over us, policing our neighborhoods instead of us policing our own neighborhoods. Right. That's read, the problem. Read the next <laughs> verse. What's the one that says I point over you terror? Verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Is the verse up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Verse sixteen. I also will do this unto you. Mm -hmm. I will even appoint over you terror. So the people over you are going to terrorize you. Right. right. They are terrorists. That's why you call the police because there's disturbance outside of your house. You open the door, and the first thing you say is, please don't hurt me. Right. 
the people are scared to walk out in the streets until they saw the prophets walking out because they're afraid to walk out right. there because they know they you can tell that there's a reputation behind that police that police department in that area. Right. And you can in tell that, that county. Sagamom County. Right. They know that they're being terrorized. Go ahead. Consumption mm -hmm. and the burning off that shall consume the eyes. Right. That's all I wanted on that thing. The terror. Our people are terrorized out here. Exactly. I'm sure what's break what's gonna bring more terror. Pull up that article I just posted. The article that, that I just posted because <clears throat> you know Esau with their system and their uh how you said le le legalities. Yeah, right. Their, their policies. Their policies, they're gonna use this, they're gonna use this. They're trying to use some of the situation to say that he has uh a right to get his job back or that he could be hired back. We're gonna, we're gonna read it. Uh read uh yeah, read the top the top of it right there. Sean Grayson fired. Sean Grayson fired fired without just cause. He was fired what? without what? Just cause. <laughs> hey, hey, we better we better stop playing with this white man. All right. I'm telling you, these folks right here, man, this system is not designed to help you. Read on. Files grievance. He filed a grievance. Make it a little bit bigger so I can see it, because I'm blind too. I got on glasses. Hey, hey, the reader can't even see it. You gonna have to, I'm going to have to pass uh, soldier my damn glasses. Uh, so, yeah, read the top part of that. The Illinois Fraternal Order of Police Labor Council filed a grievance saying that the deputy that shot Sonia Massey in the face was terminated without just cause. Mm. He shot her in the face right. for a pot of water that she did not throw on him, that she did not have in her hand, right. and he was fired for shooting her in the face without just cause? Yeah. After, after she obeyed their command to take it off the stove. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read on. Sean Grayson shot 36-year-old Sonya Massey in the head while responding to a call at her home. Grayson was charged with first-degree murder earlier this month. He pled not guilty. So, okay, go ahead. Sangamon County, Sheriff Jack Campbell uh -oh. annou That's announced who at the top of it. Uh-huh. Announced his firing minutes after he was charged. Mm. Read on. She needed a helping hand, not a bullet to the face. Crump speaks out on Sonya Massey's autopsy. All right, now stroll down. We ain't going to read all of it because we already knew what happened. But stroll down right there, the grievance. The, the grievance was it. terminated. Let's yeah. See. The grievance was terminated without just cause. Further, the employer publicly disseminated details of the investigation. Hold on, I'll, you he lost me. Something. Where you at? He the hey, highlight what he need to be read. Y'all see it? The grievance was turned. Yeah, highlight that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it? You see it, soldier? Yes, sir. Yeah. The grievance was terminated without just cause. Officials wrote in the grievance form filed July 18th to the Sangamon County Sheriff's Department, obtained by YCIA. So this is the grievance. That they filed, right? Scroll up. Uh, I think it was terminated, but the fact that you, we could drop it, I think it's. I don't think it's. I think it was terminated, but they, they're going to bring it up again. You know what I mean? This is how they operate when it comes to us, right? You know what I'm saying? They're already setting the stage for him to be vindicated for killing us. Pull it back up. Yeah. Put it back up. Put it back up. Read, read, uh, read through it. The remedy. Yeah. <laughs> read like the remedy saw it. Because they said, he, uh, you got to read that part. You got to read the part. So under step one, the <coughs> grievance was terminated without just cause. The grievance was termi terminated without just cause. Further, the employer publicly disseminated details of the investigation and termination on Facebook and violation of the CBA. And prior to giving the grievance or his representative's notice of the decision to terminate. So, like Bishop say, uh -huh. they all work together. They all work together. They oh. all work. They all so work together. Who had the footage to begin with? The they, police they, station. They, they did. So, who leaked the footage? They did. So, this is all a plot to make sure that when they put this grievance in, look at the remedy that they sought. Uh huh. Read that. Reinstatement. They want him reinstated, reinstated. because they're gonna say, "Oh, well, this st this stuff got leaked. Exactly. It shouldn't have happened that way." But you you released it. You right. released it. Sonya didn't record it. She exactly. did. Exactly. Ain't no, matter of fact, her family had to hear about it later. Later. And they were getting mixed stories, so it ain't no, nobody from the Massey family. Exactly. Read on. And reimbursement 
of all lost wages. So they See, have mm. policies set up. So all they got to do is wiggle through it just the right way. Exactly. Enough for them to say, hey, Sean, we got you, bro. We, exactly. We're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure you get all your wages back. Uh -huh. We're going to make you an instant celebrity. Everybody going to hate you. Just like, just, just like uh, uh, what, what, what the cracker name that killed uh, Mike Brown? I can't remember his name. Mm. You know, you know, he got a, he got but a, his cousin. he got a gun. Yeah, his cousin, his, his, his brother, actually. Right, brother. You know, he, he got, he, he, he got a, uh, he got t-shirts and all type of stuff. Uh, no, with Trayvon Martin. It was Trayvon Martin. Oh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, he got uh, he got T-shirts. He yep. got uh, Skittle packs. George, George Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Yeah, he got all he got all type of uh, 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 memorabilia for for for, right. for shooting the brother down and sold the gun and sold the gun for a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. Go back to it and finish that off. Just read that last part. It yeah, said yeah, after the loss of wages, restoration. Of all lost benefits. Restoration of all. And so his insurance is back in place. Matter of fact, they probably going to boost his premium. Mm -hmm. Read right. on. And any other appropriate relief. <laughs> any other appropriate relief. <laughs> et cetera, relief. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Give him everything. He, yeah. did a, he did a good job. Well done for protecting the good old boy system. That's crazy. That's what that's that's what this is, man. So they can hunt our steps. They hunt our got, steps, man. I know you wanted Zechariah 11 I, earlier. Yeah, we, are, we read that. We can read it again. So let's read it right. again. Read this, it again. We ain't read, read we ain't read Zechariah yet. We, we can go back to Lamentations though. Yeah, let's, let's get it. I want this Zechariah. Sometimes they got you know like like Bishop said, you got to go back. Got to go back and, 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 and spread the butter over the biscuit <laughs> right. again. Heat it up. <laughs> so read that Zechariah eleven and five. Zechariah chapter eleven verse five. Uh huh. Whose possessors slayed them. So we have been in captivity for years upon years, and they're comfortable they keeping can't. us in oppression. Read on. And hold themselves. Not guilty. How do they hold themselves not guilty? Because this man is a government agent. Mm -hmm. He is a part of the government. He's a servant to the public. Mm -hmm. But the government is saying and using their policies to make sure that he gets restored wages. He gets restored his benefits. He gets reinstated to the police force where his reputation is already known to be a killer of the people he should be protecting. And exactly. Serving. Right. They hold themselves not guilty. Finish that off. Oh, hold on. Now you said that too, though. He, he's a protector of his people. He ain't going to be no protector of oh. the people he's supposed to, the people that he's supposed to protect and serve. Yeah. They look like him. Right. right. Everybody else. That's who he signed up for. Yeah. He but gonna, we he, confused. Him. Everybody else. Hey, they, 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 they slave catchers. They murderers. Right. Go ahead. Read it again from the top, because what does God call them? Read. Whose possessors slayed them. The possessors. And what does a possessor do? Oppress the people that he can't stand, the people that he hate. Read on. And hold themselves not they guilty. Will all, they all work together to hold themselves not guilty. Whether you're the plaintiff or the defendant, they're going to all work together to make sure the uh, pasty-skinned white man is taken care of in that system. Read on. Every single and time. they that sell them. And they that sell them. Say. Blessed be the Lord, uh -huh. for I am rich. So this is what they're saying behind closed doors. Let's make right. sure he get all his benefits. Let's make sure that he gets a, a enough relief for all this turmoil. Matter of fact, we're going to take care of his wife or right. the girlfriend that gave him the report, Instead all this a stuff. GoFundMe. And we can do this because what's the next part say? And their own shepherds pity them not. Ben Crump don't pity. Right. Where was Jesse Jackson? Where was Al Sharpton when all this took place? They want to sit behind the desk. And be on the TV time. No, but the people need protection. They needed a beacon of hope. And that's where the sons of God come in. Right. Hey, it says, right. hold on. Go back to verse, uh, what's that? What verse you just read? Verse five. Go back, read, uh, pity them. Read verse five again. Just read it all again. I'm going to show you something. I, I, I want to point out something. Bring it out. Zechariah chapter 11, verse five. Whose possessor slayed them. And hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. It says, they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. Blessed be what Lord? Mm. Mm. Bring it what out, Lord man. is blessing them? The Satan. damn devil. Right. Right. Satan. The damn devil is blessing them. They, they have a, de they, they, their decree and their order is set up by Satan. Right. right. That's it. Straight up. Right. It's set up by the devil. Right. That's their, that, that is who their Lord is. Right. And remember, like Bishop brought out, the devil is a son of, hey, get Joe. Got to get it in Joe real quick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, I don't right. want to hey, I don't, I don't, I don't just throw nothing out there and be looking, <laughs> looking crazy around the head like y'all know what I'm talking about. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, where, 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 they, where they getting their instructions from?
Like how how are they set up? That's Job uh okay. one. Yes, sir. You got me? Yes, Read sir. that. Job chapter one, verse six. Now there was a day when the sons of God, the sons of God, came to pre present themselves before the Lord. They came to present them. The sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And what else? And Satan. And who? Satan came also among them. So Satan is what? Right. Satan is a son of God. Right. He, he was <laughs> created by God. So when we go back to that in Zechariah, Go back to that in Zechariah 11. Read Zechariah it. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Come on. Whose possessors slay them. Our possessors, they slay us. Come on. And hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves not guilty. They get off from every murder that they commit on us. Come on. And they that sell them. They that sell them say what? Say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. So who is the Lord that's blessing them? Satan. Satan is blessing them. Remember, he was given the art of war. Right, right. He was given the art of bloodshed to, to, to rule with a sword, man. Right. To put our behinds to death. He gets all of his instructions for nuclear bombs, for all of his instructions for, for creating high-tech weapons. He get all of that right. from his God. Right. Hey, can we get uh, Psalm 64-3? Just is. to back you up. Because, hey, like you say, they follow Satan. Right. And you know what? They pass policies. They make laws. They do all these things. They control the media. They can make that man look like he's just little clean. Right. And that woman was a terrorist. Read uh -huh. that. Psalms chapter 64, verse 3. Who wet their tongue like a sword uh -huh. and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. And so, uh, so guess what? They already come up with a scheme on how to get this man free. Right. How they gonna lie? How they gonna use the media to make this woman look like she was out of control? Exactly. Like she was crazy? Like she had the right. mental problem? Right. That's the first thing he said. Yo, what did he say? Your mental all right? Yeah. You all right mentally? Yeah. Right. He, he already was. That was a setup. Yeah. Read. Even bitter words. Uh huh. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. That they may kill us. Period. Right. That's right. their whole mission. Right. Read. Suddenly. Do they shoot at him uh -huh. and fear not? They ain't even worried. He ain't worried about doing no time. If he have to do time, he already know he got a GoFund set up and got a couple right. of million in the bank already. Read. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. That's why hey, every one of you cops is all in it together. Right. Of course. They don't have no pity. They don't have no sorrow for what happened. None of them was saying nothing because they know, hey, they all in it together. Exactly. They're part of a fraternity of evil men. And it said that. The right. fraternal order. Exactly. <laughs> Read. They commune of uh -huh. laying snares privily. Uh-huh. They say, who shall see them? What they say? Who shall see them? Hey, who going to see them who when they pass these laws? We got, right. we, got all the, we got all the power. Right. right. Hey, uh, this is the system that we're fighting, brothers right. and sisters. And, but we going to... At the end of the day, the battle is won. Right. We done. If you come back to keeping God's laws, statutes, right. and commandments, and endure right. to the end, can, right. and that's 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 the key part. And endure to the end. Not come and just read the Bible. You mm -hmm. must endure all things until the end. All right. We're gonna drop that. For, we're gonna drop Miss Macy, our sister Sonya, for now. But this is a this is a an event that we will continuously be following. We're probably gonna bring up some more information up on it when, within the next uh, week or so as things continue to to develop. But hey, keep your prayers up. You know, for our people. You know, we're going through a lot in this captivity, and it ain't it ain't over. It's just starting to heat up a little bit. The pot is just starting to boil. You're playing games. Right. All right, I want to go drop that. Let's go to the next article with uh, the young brother Noah. Yeah, right there. Stroll up. Now, this young man right here, I'm, this, this is another incident of the damn devil. These damn Edomites constantly killing our people. Now, when you read this article, I don't know if y'all have read this, but when you go through this, you're going to see, man, at a young age, what is, give me the, uh, what I want, uh, they are born telling lies. They, they, you know, oh. you know in Psalms. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Read that real quick. Because when you read this article, I couldn't even get it, get my thoughts out. <laughs> when you read this article right here, this young man, he thought he was walking away with friends. He thought that he was actually amongst people who like him. Right. Going to find out. Sean Grayson, they kids, they all the same, bro. Right. They are all the same. I don't give a damn. Every cracker on planet is the same, man. Right. Read that. 
Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They are estranged from the womb, from the, from the time that sperm cell is developed inside of the womb of the Edomite. Right. Right. It is wicked. That's Read. Right. They go astray as soon as they be born. As soon as they come out the womb, they, can't got, they ain't got no motor skills, can't barely open their eyes. That mofo wicked right then. Man. Read. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. Come on. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, man. That's how they operate. Their poison is like the poison of a damn snake. The Lord had they, to say that thing twice. Exactly, because he is a snake. Come He's on. Deadly. They are like the deaf adder. They are like the deaf adder. That stoppeth the ear. Come on. Her ear. Verse 5. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. You know what that's like? You know how you see these charmers, they be trying to, they got the, they got the cobras, right? The cobras, right, they, right. and they, they, they sitting there trying to, trying right. to charm that thing. All right. But then all of a sudden that thing, it, it, wow, get them on the arm. Now they got to the toss up on their arm, try to strain right. the damn blood out. You can't the charm no guy. Hey, listen, you got to take all the venom out of a snake before you even start playing that charm right. game. They take the fangs out yeah. of it too. Yeah, so you, there's no charm in this thing. Right. And this devil that we're talking, you cannot charm him. Right. He will smile in your face. He will give you a good paying job. Right. He will give you the, 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 the best of this world can offer. And stab your ass in the back. The first chance he get. Right. Read. Yeah. Charming never so wisely. Uh huh. Break their teeth. Uh huh. Oh God. Uh huh. In their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. So oh Lord. That's how you know God is black. Right. Because we the only ones talking like, well, I'll punch in your. I'll break every teeth in your jaw. Right. Right. That's what the Lord just said. Right. Yeah. Break their teeth in their <laughs> mouth. Meaning. You, what's that movie when they, when he put old boy mouth on the curb? Uh, uh I know Sopranos did. Yeah, Tony did and, and, and stomped the hell out of his head and bust all the teeth out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's what the Lord said do to these damn devils. That's crazy. Cause when you read this article, that's is what that's exactly what you're gonna feel like. Right. Uh, pull the article up. The Georgia drowning death of an eight year old black boy. So this is the Georgia. This happened right around the corner, a couple of hours from us, man. Couple of hours from us. Read on. At the hands of two white children. At the hands of two damn devils, two Edomites, two damn demons. That's what it should say. Read. Has been determined to be a homicide. So they're determining this to be a homicide. This is a murder. This is a murder. You're going to see. Read. As stated in a press release from the Davis Bozeman Johnson law firm. Come on. So obviously, like you just brought out, officer, they got, it, they got with their little winning team. Right. And they put everything together. The mother lied. Right. There's liars involved to, to, in order to cover orchestrate and cover up what really happened. Right. Read on. On July 10th, 2024, authorities arrested and charged two juveniles, ages 10 and 11. Remember what I said? Now, Sean Grayson's 36. Right. This is a 10-year-old Edomite and an 11-year-old Edomite. From the womb, like the Bible says, they the damn devil. They wicked as hell, man. Right. Read on. In connection... With Noah Bush's killing in the city of Jessup. Come on. The arrest comes nearly two months after Noah was found deceased underwater in a destruction barrel pit. In a construction. Construction barrel pit near his home on May 16th. Come on. He went missing on May 15th. Medical examiners ruled Noah's death as a homicide by drowning. So he drowned himself. This is what they're trying to say. He he asked, he, well, we don't know what happened, but he drowned. Yeah. But we're gonna go through the article. Now I want to point out it says the arrest, the the arrest comes nearly two months, two months, two months after Noah was found deceased underwater in a construction barrel near his home. Two months later, it took them two months to make an arrest. Yeah. You know why? Because they was covering ish up. Right. right. Trying to set things up. It was exactly. Let's go. Uh click off of that X. That X right there. We won't yeah, click click off of that. Or just stroll past it, I guess. Stroll past it. Yeah, right here. Blow it up. I can't see. Right there. According to the report, the eleven year old suspect is facing multiple charges, including simple battery and voluntary manslaughter. Concealing the death of another and criminal trespass. 
The 10-year-old was charged with concealing the death of another and criminal trespass. The charges came after a probable cause. Hearing where a lead detective testified. Come on. So the two, the 10-year-old, long story short, the 10-year-old and the 11-year-old got charged. Come on. My woolly Mel Davis, an attorney representing, an attorney representing the Bush family, stated that according to the lead detective's testimony, the, the 11-year-old was captured in a video before Noah's death. So, boom. Now, it took them two months to make this arrest right. because, of course, the family didn't have, they, they didn't have proper uh, representation. Right. Somebody that knew what the hell they was doing that could dig into the situation. Right. Well, this uh, attorney right here starts to digging, and we're going to see what he finds. He says that uh, an attorney representing the Bush family stated that according to the lead detective's uh, uh, testimony, the 11-year-old was captured in a video before Noah's death and shown doing what? Assaulting the black boy. Doing what? Assaulting the black boy. So they got this 11-year-old on camera assaulting Assault. Noah. Read. And repeatedly using racial slurs against him. They the damn devil, bro. That uh, Get that uh, perpetual hatred. They hate, they hate, they hate, they hate Jacob, bro. Right. Esau hates Jacob, and it's going to be that way forever until they are no That's longer right. in existence, man. And our people just can't get past the fact that these folks don't love them. They right. want to be accepted by these damn demons so bad. I don't, listen, I don't give a damn. Edomite came to the job the other day. He we, we works he works in the job right, right. he works he works well, he don't work he, he's a a client there, not my client but he he comes there and works out every single day. Right. I talk to him because I'm cordial I'm at peace right. when I'm when, when I'm around them. Right. But don't get it twisted, don't get it twisted for a second because I don't work for this place. Right. In fact, if I ain't there, you lose revenue. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he comes in he says uh because they call me wise hey wise uh hey uh man I was on um I was on Instagram. Uh, yesterday, and I think I saw you in a purple shirt talking something about the Jews. I looked at him. I said, no, nah, that was my twin brother. He said, <laughs> he said, really? I said, yeah, that was my twin brother. He said, wow, you got a twin? I was like, look, man, that, yeah, it, it was me. That was me. Like, let's stop playing games. Don't, don't act like you don't know what's going on. You come here every day. You don't ask me about my fringes three, four times. Right. You know what time it is. Like, let's not, we, I'm not going to sit and play this dumb game with you. You know what you saw. You saw what you saw. That don't change nothing. Hey, how you doing? Keep it pushing. All right. But these damn demons be trying to play mental games with you, man. They know what's going on. Now, right. now this 11-year-old has been arrested because he's just like his forefathers. Right. They, ha they have that perpetual hatred for Jacob, bro. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. This ain't stopped yet. Right. It ain't never going to stop. That perpetual hate, perpetual means, get the definition of perpetual. We got a three-hour show today. It is what it is, crazy. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> Shit. Hey, get the definition of perpetual, man. Perpetual. There we go. Read that. You got to blow it up. You know, we blind out here. God says that they have a perpetual hatred. What does perpetual mean? Perpetual. Never ending or changing. Meaning his hatred is never ending. It's his hatred only ends <laughs> with his destruction. Hey, look at the similitudes on that thing. Read the similitudes. Similitudes. Everlasting. Everlasting. <laughs> never ending. Uh -huh. Never going to stop. Eternal. Eternal. <laughs> permanent. 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 So, <laughs> so permanent, meaning his, his, his uh, yeah. hatred is so... Strong is so permanent when his father excretes semen into the white, into the Edomite woman, he excretes hatred hey. into the wound of the woman to fertilize an egg full of hatred. Cap, they was fighting in the womb. In the womb, they was fighting. <laughs> right. It's like, yo, the mother was like, yo, why, what, what the hell is going, going on in my in stomach? So you saying there's no good white man? There ain't not no, one, one good. The Bible says, read that part again. <laughs> because thou... Has had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual. Go back. Don't go nowhere. Go back. Go, don't go back to the synonyms. Because thou has had a what? Perpetual hatred. Because thou has had an everlasting hatred, mm -hmm. a never-ending hatred, mm -hmm. an eternal hatred, a permanent hatred, an unending hatred, mm -hmm. an endless hatred, a hatred without end, 
a lasting hatred, a long-lasting hatred, a constant hatred, an abiding hatred, right. an enduring hatred. Right. They hate, hate, a timeless hatred, right. an ha ageless hatred, a, a deathless <laughs> hatred, an immortal freaking hatred. Right. You got to say it because a black man and black woman don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get it. I got one more, Cap. Go ahead. A changeless Hatred. Changeless right. hatred. Change. Read it again, soldier. <laughs> because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because your hatred is so strong. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And you constantly mm. shedding the blood of the children of Israel. Read. By the force of the sword. Uh huh. In the mm. time of their calamity. By the force of the sword is the nine millimeter nowadays. Right. By the force of the sword mm. is by starvation that they got our people going through in these other countries. Right. They are forcing us to die. Read. In the time of their calamity. In the time of our oppression, in our calamity, when we're on, when we're down and the Lord has let has has let them let us alone and given them the authority over us. Read. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Our iniquity had an end. Right. But these damn demons say, hey, middle finger to you, God. You gave us the authority. It ain't ended until we, we, we just, right. We, right. you created us like this and we just got to keep, we don't know how to turn it off. Right. right. It don't turn off. It's timeless. It's changeless. Hey, it says it's indestructible. <laughs> what the hell? That, it's not. That, that goes right back to what you read in Psalm, where we at, we're praying to the Lord, break their teeth. Because it seems like when we fight back in our mortal flesh, mm -hmm. in our sin, mm -hmm. they keep growing teeth. Exactly. Right. Well, right. Get that in Zechariah 1 and 15. What I, had him, what I had him holding? Oh, did you? I had him holding something, didn't I? No. Well, what was, we was reading <laughs> something. I don't want to get lost. Ezekiel 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what we done with Ezekiel 35? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm, and I'll get right back to you. <laughs> alley -oop. Alley -oop. All right, so it said at a time in the time that their iniquity had an end. But what did the white man and his uh, uh, satanic allegiance have in his mind? Go ahead and read that. Zechariah 1 and 15. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And I am very sore displeased. So, black man, don't think that God has forgotten you. God says, I'm very sore displeased. Read. With the heathen. With the heathen. All those heathens that are around about us. Read on. That are at ease. They're at ease because they're oppressing us and making money off of it. They set their governments up to stay having their knee on our neck. Read on. For I was but a little displeased. So God said, I was just a little displeased. So I put a little affliction on you. Slavery, mm -hmm. us going into oppression, colonization. God said, that's the little affliction, but I want you to return to me. Read on. And they helped forward the affliction. But Esau and his satanic allegiance. You got to say it that way, yeah, Cap. Yeah, got to. That satanic allegiance. He said, I'm going to forward their affliction. Right. That's why we get so caught up in the Stockholm Syndrome because we're like, well, I just need to love them more. Right. No, I'm going to forward your affliction even when you do love me. Right. I'm going to put my knee on your neck when you're calling for me to help you. Don't th th The white man is not going to change. Esau, Idumia, Edom, as the Bible calls him, he is not changing. Right. So read that last part again. For I was but a little displeased. Uh-huh. And they helped forward the affliction. And they helped forward the affliction of God's people. When right. God said, I, I, I'm going to bring it to an end, they said, nah, we're going to keep this going because right. Satan wants us to do this. Yeah, exactly. But guess what? His destruction is all in his actions. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all probably hear me screaming out who go on the buttons. Like, I don't know what's going on. With, like, I want my button uh, system set up we right got here. Right. They, be in fall, it, they be falling asleep we right there. I don't know what's going on, man. God, hey, man. Eat them all the biscuits. fire come out, then they just let hold them. With their finger just resting on the uh, IT. Well, I tell you, IT. Right, you got to get in tune with the, the spirit of the yeah, host. Yeah, IT. That's what that's stuff, what IT means. Mean. In tune. Right. In oh, that's tune. Heavy. In yeah, tune. get in tune. Right. God dang right. it. Uh, hey, you think they're going to charge their kids with uh Oh, we're going to watch. Grown up? We watch this. Let's go back to the article. Ooh, Let's go back to the article. Great question. Go back to the article. Let's see what's going on. Not that article. Let's go back to the article. That's a cold blooded question. That's a Watch good this. question. We ain't even got to we ain't got to the good part yet. We ain't got to the good part yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so it says start back reading at the attorney. Of both juveniles and adults in the state of Stockholm. An attorney? Yeah, yeah. An attorney representing the Bush family stated that according to the lead detective's testimony, 
the 11 year old was captured in a video before Noah's death and shown assaulting the black boy and repeatedly using racial slurs against him. Mm -hmm. We can't rule out that race may have played a factor in these juveniles' unthinkable acts. The day Noah died, David said. So you cannot, you, 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 you ain't going to be able to rule it out because it's on camera. Right. It's on camera with him beating, the, uh, assaulting the boy and giving and calling him racial slurs. Read on. Both juveniles were ordered, detained with bail, set at $10,000. Now, hold. Stroll up so we can so, stroll up a little bit. Read that again, bro. Both juveniles were ordered, detained with bail, set at $10,000. Uh-huh. For the 11 year old uh -huh. and five thousand dollars for the 10 year old. Now, a ten thousand dollar, a ten thousand dollar bail. He's about to hit it. Go ahead. You know how much it cost him to get out of jail? A thousand. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Right, you, you in the spirit for damn murder? Right. It cost them five hundred dollars to get the 10 year old out. Right. But if those were black children. They would have been charged with first degree murder, and there would be no, no bond set. Right. No bond. They would have to they, sit. If they they have video evidence of the crime, they got video and evidence. they can hear them screaming racial slurs, that should be enough to hold them in custody until trial. Hey, you should at least got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond, <laughs> right, or a bigger bond. Yeah. But again, it goes back to that system. It's designed to help them. The poor family, they probably only got, they don't got that much money. Let's just send it at 10000 and they, 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 they can pay pay on, give us 200 and just make payments. Right. We it's crazy. Don't, these, go back to the article. Go, go on back to the article. We're not done with this article. Stroll up because we got to get to the meat and bones of this thing. Read that right there. A mother of one of the suspects was also charged. So one of the mothers was charged. Come on. Additionally, Natalie Hardison, the mother of the 11-year-old juvenile, was arrested on felony charges for providing false statements during the investigation into Noah's death. So she lied on her 11-year-old. Oh, he wasn't there. He's not that kind of kid. My child would never do that right. type of thing. The Bible says you're a damn liar because from the time that you was born and conceived in this world, you've been a murderer, a liar, and a hater. Right. Read on. Noah, <laughs> Noah's mother, Demetrius Bush, expressed gratitude that at least one adult was being prosecuted, emphasizing the family's determination to hold all involved accountable. Now, that ain't enough, but go ahead. Our family is grateful that at least one of the adults involved is being prosecuted until everyone involved in any way is held accountable. Under the law, we will not stop fighting for justice. We thank the community for their ongoing support, Demetrius Bush said in a statement. Read on. The arrest of this child's mother is another significant step toward full justice for Noah's family. We knew that something of this magnitude could not have happened, and some adults not know about it and be involved. The Bush family's lead attorney, Francis Johnson, added, Investigations are ongoing to determine if any adults had knowledge of or involvement in Noah's tragic death. Stroll up. Stroll all the way up so you can right there. What happened to Noah? Per the Georgia Gazette initial reports from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office indicated Noah had wandered into the pit and drowned. Nah, Noah here. wandered into the right. pit and drowned. He wandered into the pit and drowned. That's a damn lie. They yeah. led him in that damn pit. Right. He ain't wandering into no pit. Read on. With no suspicion of foul play. Huh? No, there's no suspicion of foul play. But video evidence suggests that there is suspicion of foul wow, play right. from the time that the 11 year old was assaulting him and calling him racial slurs. Right. Read. However, Noah's parents were skeptical because he had a fear of deep water. So the child didn't even like to be right. around deep That's water. Jake, right there. Like, Jake, like, don't like get in no water like that. I can't swim. Right. Right. Your man can't right. swim. We don't get on no, get in no water like that. Right. The only time you you you, you got Jake. In the water, they grew up taking swimming lessons. Right, right, right. When you ain't grew up taking no damn swimming lessons, you ain't getting in no water, bro. Nah, bro. And if it go past yeah. your waist, you, hey, you, if it go past your waist, you like, oh, hell no, nah, I ain't getting right. in there. I'll walk in until I can, until it get to my waist, but hey. all that going under the water and all that, nah, I got we, we don't do that. I got swimming lessons after I almost drowned. Like, you see what I'm saying? 
So the the young man had a fear of water. He didn't just go out there and then get in the water and then freaking drown. And there's video evidence, according to uh, the other the, the other attorney, that there was foul play. Now right. they, they're trying to say, oh, there wasn't no foul play. That's bull crap. Read that again. However, Noah's parents were skeptical because he had a fear of deep water. Come on, and would not likely have entered the pit voluntarily. See right. that? Right. He wouldn't have got get black EJ. Right. Right. He ain't voluntarily <laughs> like, getting like, in no deep ass yeah, water. Yo. <laughs> You, if you're wandering by yourself, by yourself, like like they're trying to insinuate, and you see that water to your right, I ain't missing. I ain't getting it. Out I yeah, exactly. Let me keep on wandering hey, to exactly. myself. I'm gonna come flying out. The exactly. Water. Let me keep like, keep my foot on thing. solid ground. I'm not going in there. That's bull. That's bull crap. Come on, read on. They hired a private investigator to delve deeper into the case. Uh huh. Amid mounting pressure for Noah from Noah's family and local protesters. For a thorough investigation, the narrative surrounding Noah's death evolved. During an interview with WRDW, Johnson said that he believes Noah went with the two boys, trusting them, but their interaction escalated into a dispute that tragically resulted in his death. So he left his house with these two people, with these two young, young, young Edomites, these two devils, trusting them. Trusting them. Right. Bring it the out. Bible says, never, never trust, trust thine enemies. enemies. Right. And this is what we got to teach our children, to never trust our enemies. Right. They are your enemies. enemies. Right. That's a law. That's a law. That's Not a law. to trust them. Read that. Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemies. See, our people don't know this Bible. Right. When we understand the Bible, when we understand what God has set up for us as the nation of Israel and how we're supposed to operate, and we operate off of these things, this minimizes the chances of, the, chances of these demons having power over us. Right. Right. It minimizes the chances of us ending up in a situation where we're too tightly knit involved with how they're going to react to us. Read that again. Never trust thine enemy. God says never trust your enemy. Read. For like it's iron rust, just like iron rust. Come on, so is his wickedness. So is his wickedness. When you look at fresh iron, when you look at iron that's been beaded and it's been it's been uh, um, uh, uh, cultivated and shaped and formed mm -hmm. and put up for display, that thing is beautiful. Right. You look at that iron, you're like, dang! Look at this sword, bro. Like, wow! Look at this thing. Let it sit there for right. a while. Just let, it, just let it naturally just sit there for a while and watch what happens to the iron. Right. It's going to rust. Right, time always catches up. Time going right. to catch up. God says that's how these demons are. Right. They look like they're okay in the beginning. They might seem like your damn friend. He hired you and gave you a, a high-paying job. Oh, now three years later, he treating you like ish. Right. And you want to know what's going on. Right. That's because that rust is starting to seep in. He's starting to get too, he's starting to get real comfortable with you and how he can operate with you. Now he's starting to treat you like trash. Mm. Read that again. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust your enemy. Come on. For like as iron rust. Just like iron rust. So is his wickedness. So is the wickedness of Edomites and these damn white devils. Right. 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 That's right. That's going, they're always going to be who they naturally, who they naturally are. You can't change them. Scripture says, who can make a crooked thing straight? God made them crooked. Right. He made them crooked. You think your kindness is going to make them straight? They don't like you. Hey, you know, the problem is we yeah, don't trust nah. God's word. Right. You no. said never trust our enemies. We'll look at little Mikey and little Tommy and say, you know what? They're okay. Right. It's not, right. it's, it's their parents. It's not them. Hey, them little kids is bad as hell. <laughs> and God know they bad as hell. Yep, right. And guess what? He ain't going to have no problem killing them. Give me Psalms 137, verse, uh, start at 8. Hold on. Let him, let him finish that. Oh, yeah, finish that out. Verse 11. Though he humble himself. It says, though he humble himself. And go crouching. And he go crouching. Come on. Yet, take good heed and beware of him. God says, even though he, you know, they humble themselves and they say, they come to you and they say, hey, how you doing? That's them humbling themselves right. and crouching. Let me tell you about these damn demons. Here's how you know they can't stay in your ass. You ever see these Edomites, you, you, you go to speak to them, you're like, hey, how you doing? They, 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 do, they do this right here? Right, that old fake smile. Right. They, 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 don't, they don't say, they don't say, hey, how you doing? You're like, hey, how you doing? They go, 
They can't stand your right, ass, right, nigga. Right, right. They cannot stand you. They just smile at you. That ain't even behind that smile. That's a he thinking, yeah, they behind that grin. He thinking, I want to just dab you in the neck right now. Like right. I know I don't know you, and I just want to pull your damn tongue through your throat. Like right. that's how these demons think. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, read yet take good heed. God says, you better take. Good he. You better take good he. What? And beware and of beware him. And beware of that damn devil. Come on. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadest a had his wife a looking glass. Read that part again. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst his wife a looking glass. Uh-huh. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether white away. So you look at him and you like, hmm, maybe. Tommy is okay. Right. Let no. me see. Tommy's Tommy's fine. And then later on, you find out Tommy gonna set your ass up right. on the back end yeah. and got your ass fired. Right. Tommy wanted your position the whole time. Now you're looking like, but Tommy, didn't the Bible tell you you to be aware of him? Right. You didn't wipe enough of that. You ain't wipe enough of that damn glass. <laughs> and you didn't wipe that thing good enough, right. man. <laughs> you gotta. You better wipe. Use use some uh. Use some more Windex, Windex. Right. you know what I'm saying? You missed the spot. You missed the spot. But go ahead, what, what, what that you was going to get? Psalms 137, Let's go verse, ahead. Uh, verse 8. Then we're going to finish this article, then we're going we gonna, to, you know, see where it goes. Psalms 137, Oaks. Yes, sir, verse 8. Psalms chapter 137, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, mm -hmm. happy shall he be that rewarded thee. As thou hast served us. America got to be served the same way she served us. And she done served That's us with right. terror, right. destruction, right. and death. Yes. Right. Read. Read Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Same way you killed our sons and daughters. Right. Same thing got to happen to your sons and daughters. That's right. And most High said he going to be happy when he dashed them with the stone. <laughs> up against a stone. Just straight smack. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to be. Hey, get up, Jeremiah 15 and 11. Because though he crouches himself, right? A lot of times our people will see the Edomites and they'll 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 say, oh, he's a good one. He he's the one that I, that gave me this job, or he's the one that that looked out for me when I was broke. We must understand that their their innate nature of them is to hate you. They are natural born enemies, but when they do do well, it doesn't mean that they're good people. It just means that the most high showed them favor. Read that real quick. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 11. Go ahead. The Lord said, Verily. It shall be well with thy remnant. Go ahead. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. This is verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat you well. So-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women. Read. In the time of evil. Go ahead. And in the time of affliction. So it doesn't matter what good a so-called white man does for you. If he does it, it's because the Most High has put the spirit on him to do that for you. And right. then... When his time is up and that rush shows, he goes right back to normal and he hates your guts. He's always plotting to kill you, no matter what he's trying to do. Our people need to wake the hell up, man. Right, 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 That's right. That's right. We'll get some wisdom of Solomon 12 and 10. Dealing with that spirit that's in Esau. We, we need to be mindful of how we deal and how we teach our children to deal, how we teach right. the generations to come how to deal. We got to show them who they really are at the core. Right. Go ahead and read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 10. Go ahead. But executing thy judgments upon them by little and little. Go ahead. Thou gavest them place of repentance. So the Lord shows has us in the midst of these afflictions that we may learn to repent. But read on. Not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation. Uh-huh. And that their malice was bred mm. in them. Uh-huh. And that Sheesh. their cogitation would never be changed. Their cogitation <laughs> of a perpetual hatred, that thing ain't going to be changed in nope. Esau. Right. Go, so, back synonyms. go back to them <laughs> synonyms, that, that perpetual right. hate, God is reminding us over, he said, you might not understand what perpetual is, but I'll show you uh, the cogitation won't be changed. Right. It's perpetual. It's going to be there. <laughs> read on. Read the next verse. For it was a cursed seed. So mm. God says Esau is a cursed seed. They will be destroyed. All the affliction that they're putting upon God's people, God already got it mapped out how he's going to destroy them. What God is wanting us to do is repent. Right. Read on. From That's the beginning, right. neither didst thou fear of any man 
give them pardon for those things. So we don't need to give them pardon. We need to be seeing what they're doing to our people and saying, these are the people that God is aiming to destroy for our sake. Right. We don't. Give them pardon for, the, for those things wherein they sin. That's why God is going to bring judgment upon the so-called white man. Yeah. Esau, I do me eat him because he's afflicting and affording the affliction of, his, of God's people. Right. Yes, sir. Hey. All praise to the most high. Hey, we gonna let's go back to the article real quick. We're gonna uh go through the article and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end it there. Uh kind of finish up a little bit. But today is uh I think the day today was a good day, you know what I'm saying? We came back with some fire, man, and um praise hey, let's let's we, we, we just gonna keep it rolling. But what well, what our people is going through and what we must continue to push is that we are the children of Israel and these afflictions are happening to us because of our disobedience. To our God, to our Father, right. and we must come back into the keeping of the commandments. Uh, let's start, pick back up at uh, where we stopped at. He walked away. Yeah, he walked away with people he thought were his friends and trustworthy. Uh -huh. Johnson said, as highlighted by W R D W, the Wayne County Sheriff's Office said in its initial report that it was waiting on Noah's autopsy. It received the autopsy report on July 8th, which confirmed the absence of any injuries to the eight-year-old's body, consistent with a fight or use of a weapon. The story they were told told was their son accidentally drowned. He accidentally drowned, and he don't like to get in water. Right. That's How does that bullshit, happen? bro. That's bullshit. Read. They knew that was not true then, and today we confirmed the same. Johnson told the outlet. Scroll down. Scroll down. I think that was the end of that damn. That was the end of the article. But this is something that we're gonna have to continue to follow as well. We got a we got a merit of other videos and things related to incidents happening to our people. You can drop that. We got a merit of uh, videos that are and incidents that are happening with our people, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians across the globe, and this epidemic is not going to stop. It is going to increase. Right. So it behooves us as a people to band together in our communities. First, we must come together under the banner of this Bible and understanding that we are the children of Israel, right. that we are the Israelites. That's we are not right. black. We are not Hispanic. We are not Native Indians. These things are happening to us because we are the people of God that fall under the curses of God. Right. And he's calling us to repentance and giving us the opportunity to come back to him in these last days. All of these things happening to us in our community are because of our own disobedience. So we implore you to continue to uh, look out for the show. We're going to step up and, and we're going to step up and keep ramping up and pushing out this content. Step up to the show. Uh, uh, come to keep coming back to visit the show as we continue to dive deeper into some of the things plaguing our communities. All right. Uh, we're going to roll the missing persons. Uh, segment and we got some, we got a couple of other segments we haven't quite uh, incorporated incorporated and jumped off yet but we're gonna we're we gonna get better with it we're gonna get better with it all right so if you want to help out you know what you can do what they can do officer Marshall they can send their donations to iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org go ahead all praises go ahead with the next portion that's, that's yours for now I'm, I'm freestyling giving it to you on the spot do the missing persons too all right so let's pull that up on the screen. Missing persons. Could you make it a little bit bigger? Uh, we're searching for our sister, Desire Phillips. All right, so if you have any information, let's be involved in our communities and make sure that we bring our sister back home. She is missing from Columbia, South Carolina. Her age now is 17. Um, and the information that you see there, let's see. Let's go down where it says, last seen on February the 9th, 2024 on Hester Court, Columbia, South Carolina. So let's make sure that we have our ears to the ground, our eyes uh, peel for our sister. Let's bring her back home safely. Next one. Our sister Hilda Garcia. She was last seen on May 23rd on Percival Road. I used to live on Percival Road. Me too. That's a dangerous, that's a dangerous spot over there. Yeah. That's crazy. Next one. Our sister Kiaja Harris. She was last seen on June 21st, 200 block of Risbon Way in Columbia, South Carolina. She was last seen wearing a gray champ sweatshirt. 
black leggings, black Puma sandals. Wow. Next one. Michaela Martin, last seen March 23rd on the 700 block of Mallet Hill Road. Savannah Tannehill, last seen on the 2000 block of Hayward Brockington Road. And uh, she was last seen on March 18th, 2024. These are very recent. Got any more? All right, so uh, that's our Missing Persons uh, segment now. This goes back to everything that we've been bringing out today. You see what's going on with our people. They're not only murdering us, they're killing us and selling our organs. Right. They're killing us and selling our organs. Uh, as you can see, we went to the Kendrick Johnson uh, march yes. in Valdosta, Georgia, a couple of weeks ago, where his body was rolled up in a gym mat, and his organ, and his body was his body was stuffed with newspaper. Right. But they don't. They claim this is just another uh, a homicide or something like that too. Right. How can you? So you mean to tell me he fell down into a gym mat, suffocated himself? And it uh, made his organs disappear. Right. right. And he had. I didn't realize his face was beat up like that. Too, yeah. The way they right. showed it, he had a he had a pumpkin. Head if he flesh. if he went in there looking for shoes, why his face looked like that? Right. Exactly. <laughs> this these this is what's going on with our people. It's high time we really wake up and see what's going on. Come and join the movement. Join the one true force that stands for our people right. at IsraelUnite.org. All right. That's so with that, right. I'm, I'm Captain Kalaya to my right. Officer, you want to thun Yasharala? To my left. Officer, you want to thun Kasai? To my far left. Officer Marshall. And I'll read it today. Soldier out here. And this has been the Final Trumpet Radio Show. Shout out to IT. We're going to continue to get on their head until they get it right. right All yeah. praise to the Most High Lords. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Shalom. 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 In a world acting by the threats of chaos, the Lord has spoken. He calls his chosen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, those who bear his divine might. I, yeah. His saviors. I, we live in the book of the acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. With pictures through all of my woes. With pictures through all of my woes. And I'm out here playing this picture It came from the scriptures, I'm changing my mind now And I've been examples, I've seen some examples So I think it's just about time now To break the old habits and clean off the addicts And yes, we are changing our life now And when life give us lemons, we turn it to vengeance Get stronger than the Lord and his might now All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same It's the love been given us, been hoping with the pain The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane you're really feeling they pull up and smart, they fail, yeah. It's a love in my veins, yeah. I cannot stand it, I'm paying, yeah. But it needs me to change, yeah. But it needs me to change, yeah. I'm a mother and I'm the man, yeah. So I'm listening to my hands, yeah. You wanna turn up my chain, yeah. Hey, just wanna know what hey. you're man. Straight to the religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Angel, if you got no clue what you slipping, it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I'm with no vision. I'm moving like fucks to my mind, steady swimming.